Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Friday. My hair's a little crazy. Um, I'm just getting ready to go to work. It's 8.13. I'm just about to make a coffee. This clock is wrong and it always messes me up. It says it's 8.28 right there, but really it's 8.13. So the, what is it called? The clock, the power went out. So that's why it's like that. I am so tired. I stayed up till like 12 editing and uploading and then I stayed up another like two hours or so because Cole was not home last night and I have a hard time sleeping without him. He won his championship last night with his hockey team. This is his first, uh, third, no, sorry. His fifth or sixth championship he's won with hockey. So he'll get another ring. Um, he ended up sleeping there because it's really far. Anywho, I'm just gonna make my coffee here and then I'm gonna do some ice at work. I have like three bags of ice at work. But it was too sweet yesterday, so I'm gonna try to not put as much creamer. Um, anywho, I don't know what time Cole's gonna be home today. I'm hoping like early because I'm really lonesome. He went out with the boys last night doing boy things. My kitchen is nice and clean. I cleaned it last night before I went to bed. Or I cleaned it while I was uploading because when I upload, I'm always like, well, I wanna watch something while I upload, but then it makes it upload slower. So I always try to keep myself busy. I would have been done a little bit sooner, but my friend came over last night and I haven't seen her in a while. It was really nice to have a little visit with her. Um, I was gonna go to the city to with her, but Cole didn't come home last night and I had Chase's home, so. It was really nice to edit and upload a video yesterday all in one shot. Like I really need to work on just vlogging one day because like several days it gets confusing. I'm like, it's the next, next, next day. <laughs> uh, it's so annoying. But I, I, I uploaded, uh, I edited a full day yesterday and it was just like a day in the life. This is my oh. hair after I slept in it. Look at this nice little curl. I just showered last night and went to bed, and now it's this. So I need to like, I don't know, tame it somehow. <laughs> Cause it's just like, I look like Hagrid. My car window is like stuck down. My mom got it stuck. And that is like, I was like, oh, I don't need to start my vehicle this morning. I'll just go out and like start it when I leave. But then I re remembered my mom got my car window stuck. So it was cold in there this morning. Totally did this hairstyle without looking. <laughs> little check in here. I'm at work still, but I'm sewing my regalia. So I'm gonna give you guys a little sneaky peeky <laughs> and show you what we're doing. So we're having a little staff sewing night or evening. So let's go take a look, shall we? Ta-da! Okay, here's my vest. Just do it, and I'm gonna show what you're doing too. I'm on the same model. The ribbons. They don't my bias tape and my jingles. Katina, would you like to show us your oh my god your creation? <laughs> You're gonna take my ideas. Just kidding. Katina, just give us a rundown here. Okay. Katina well, this is making a what? Old style fancy. Old style fancy. So I'm using my existing ribbon skirt. Wow, very It's like pretty. really sexy ribbon skirt. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't wear this to ceremony. But it's, it's a ribbon skirt. <laughs> it's so I'm going to make it into a fancy shawl dress. <laughs> but it doesn't have, it's a ribbon skirt with no ribbons on it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so, very scandalous. I know. Those old grannies when I bought it off them, I was like, I can't wear that to a ceremony. And they're like, yeah, you could. She's like, I made it out of a curtain. And I'm like, oh I my love God. this waistband. And then I was like, I'll go wiggling into the ceremony with your old skirt, and she started laughing. Okay. But yeah, that's her. These are sleeves, and she's figuring out what's gonna be my on top. That's the top. These are gonna be applique pieces on her shoulders. Strawberries. Yes. Oh yeah, these are her applique. Or no, what is this called? Like detail lace. Wow. For the sleeve. It's hard to, it's hard really to envision, nice, eh? but I, I see what you're doing. Just kidding. Yeah, because like this pink look at... So what size? I don't even think I've ever showed this mural before. I did when I first started it, but this is completed. Oh, 
And then this is our beautiful new medicine table. Wow, so fancy, so funky fresh. <laughs> My cousin made this soapstone little, it's a smudge bowl. Isn't that cool? What's up? What is your makings? Making a hackle bustle. Hackle bustle with uh, men's fancy dance bustle. If you don't know what men's fancy is, it's this category. And they're really fancy. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's straight down the hallway. But these are? These are hackles. Mm -hmm. They're all dyed rooster feathers. Wow. Uh, these two here, or these three. Mm -hmm. And these ain't going to be the main colors, but well, they're going to be uh, like this color is going to be on the outer row. This black color is going to be on the oh. inner row. Then when then it makes that big circle yeah. bustle that sits yes. on one right sits on the, on the back and yeah. then one sits on this like, like butt area. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right there. Yes. So this is just one bustle right here. All this there. I gotta do another one too. Yeah. It's not the right feathers. Oh, yeah. 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 Eagle feathers right there. Now, Tied right down, glued right down so it doesn't slip off. And go macro. <laughs> yeah. So nice. This is mine. This is a back of a vest slash yoke. Tina and Justin helped me figure out how to do vest style. And then I do, what are those little ropes called? Beaded ropes. Like whips. Oh wow. Yeah, beaded ropes. I think I want to do that here. And the back would be like a tie-up, like corset kind of thing with this, these pieces. There. And here. This looks like darker on camera, but it's like an olive. No, no. What is this color called? Forest greenish color. And this is my shawl. But I'm going to send it away to a really fancy shawl maker. <laughs> I shouldn't sew it, but I mean... Opportunity is there. These are the colors for my shawl. There's some under here too. But yeah. My sister's helping Chelsea over here make, start the idea of jingle dress. <laughs> Check it out guys. Look at my lovely rest out window. <laughs> oh man. I struggled with this thing this morning. So badly, it was awful. It was right after I vlogged this morning. It freaking sucks. My mom rolled it down and it got stuck. I don't even know if I told you guys, but that is what's happening there. Sewed with our coworkers. It was really nice little bonding experience for all of us. So that was really nice. Also, this jacket I'm realizing has shoulder pads in it. So like, I just wanna let you know, that's not my shoulder, it's a shoulder pad, okay? <laughs> um, Right now, I am going, I'm not going home yet. I have to go and get my, uh, my friend picked me up a sheet set, um, a king size sheet set when she was in the city today. And I have to go pick that up today. I mean, right now. And then Cole just got home. So I feel like I look like Lurch, you guys, honestly. Um, there we go, we hide it. Cole just got home. Uh, he won his championship game last night. He sent me a video this morning at, I think it was like, I think last night it was like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. or something like that. They were swimming in a, in a pool in a hotel. One of his buddies owns the hotel and they opened up the pool for them to celebrate their championship by swimming in their underwear. So, fun. It was funny videos to watch. Um, so he's home now and he's very sick. Very sick. So I think I'm gonna go make some soup. So, change of plans. I'm not gonna go out this evening. I'm gonna make a really nice supper. My hair is kind of crazy. I'll take it out now, actually. Ow. I'm gonna make a really nice supper. I'm, gonna, I'm really wishing for soup. So I think I'm gonna make some soup and some biscuits. 
I have frozen, sorry if you can hear a tavern, but I have um, frozen, I have frozen butter already in the freezer, so I think I'm just gonna use that up. Cole is like sleeping, he is gone for the night. Um, so I think I'm gonna put a movie on in the background while I edit, or I might try to find The Bachelor online. Sorry, Tavern is vigorously drinking his water. Oh, I wanted to show the sheets I got today. They're a very light seafoam green. They're from Calvin Klein, um, which is not intentional. I don't really care like what brand it is as long as it's like a nice cotton. Um, but these were, this is the color I liked. We have King sheets and it was $79.99. These are the sheets. Um, like seafoam green color. I think they'll be a really nice neutral but also pop a color in our bedroom. So I'm gonna wash these. My friend like ripped it open so she could feel. Oh, very, I could have did this. Like, there's literally a zipper right here. I don't know why I did this, but I think it's easier to show. It's like a seafoam green, very, very light sage green. I don't know. Good morning, it's the next day. On today's agenda, we have a comedy show to go to. So we're gonna make some breakfast. It's currently 9.45. I just made a cup of tea, Cole made a cup of coffee. Made breakfast wraps. Let's deliver this to the king himself. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's spicy and I made you too. Hello my friends, I look a little odd right now because I'm curling my hair. I did some laundry. I really wanna wear this top I thrifted to me and Cole's little date night. I washed that and now I'm gonna start my hair and makeup. You know what bothers me is when guys don't have to get ready. <laughs> like it's literally 11.57 and Cole is just taking his time just doing whatever he wants. He's actually taking my vehicle right now to go get the window fixed. Um, I showed you guys yesterday. Cole, oh, dry shampoo. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how to use dry shampoo, okay? Anyways, he is taking the car to go get that fixed because we have to take that vehicle and we don't wanna take it if the window is broken. We're going to a comedy show. Honestly, I almost backed out because I was just like, ugh. I've been so, stressed out from work and just being very busy that I just wanted to stay home today but I'm gonna go because Cole and I never really go on like a real date. A date for us is like going shopping or I don't know, watching a movie at home. But yeah, I'm excited to wear a little fancy top tonight. I think it's kind of risque but it's a date night, so I'm gonna allow it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, usually I'm shy to dress like, kind of, I don't know, show my parts. All right, I'm done my hair. I did a little bit of like brushing it out. Usually all my curls are like intact. I don't know, I feel like I don't match the brushed out thing, but I'm gonna do it today. Also, I usually don't brush out because my hair get. Blah, blah. I usually don't brush it out because my hair gets really frizzy. But today I'm feeling it a little bit, so let's do it. It kind of does make it look a little bit more voluminous. Um, I just have a lot of hair. <laughs> that could be it too. I'm ready. You guys, I feel so cute. Um, so the top did work. It's a little booby, but it's better. Also, the bralette has a little straight across piece here so it's 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 ideal for this shirt because it's kind of low cut okay I never wear shirts like this I never dress up like this um because I like to be in a granny dress or a long like floral dress still has some floral but I feel very cute I feel very fancy I mean ready to go on a date um this is the shirt I thrifted oh, couple of thrift vlogs ago, many thrift with me's ago. I'll link it up in a card, but it's my from my favorite thrift store. 
They have such cute stuff there. It's an MCC, so it's very good prices. And I got this shirt and I was unsure of it because I was wearing the wrong, I was wearing the wrong bra with it when I tried it on. So I never thought to put it with a, um, a bralette, which is how it's gonna work. My eyeliner is uneven, so cute. Honestly, I don't do makeup anymore. I have to find some earrings. My ears are actually kind of healed. They were kind of messed up for a little while. Then I just have jeans on. These ones are from, these jeans are from Old Navy. And yeah, I'm like excited. I've never been to a comedy show before. So I'm excited to see what it's all about. Cole just got home, serve a look. I put on these earrings. Can you see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? So we just got to the city. We're both really tired. <laughs> hey, honey. Mm -hmm. I wish we were staying the night here. Mm. Close your, eyes. your eyes are really green today, let's see. Cole has like hazel eyes. They're very nice. I like just gazing into them. <laughs> It's like the first time hearing the Beatles. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what that's about? Yeah. What? God, I'm so tired. Hopefully this coffee will wake me up when September ends. See? Freaking Tim Hortons prices compared to Starbucks. 6.30 for a large. Would you get a large or extra large? Large. Uh, yes. Yes, please. A, a large coffee, a small coffee, and Thank you. For six dollars? What a steal! What's one coffee at Starbucks? Cheers. Looks Honey, good. that one day, me and Katina's was like 26 something. Cheers. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh yeah, what's the guy's name? I was telling them earlier and I couldn't remember. Jeff Dunham. Jeff Dunham. He's the puppet guy. The ventriloquist. Ventriloquist. Which, oh, I hate that word. It reminds me of that movie. What um, the hell movie is that? Dead Silence. Oh, yeah. That's, oh. A, that's a good movie. Terrified me. I remember my brother made me watch it. And I was like terrified for it to be dead silent, like for it to be quiet. So I'm just like playing music all the time. We're like, oh, this is, this is scary. But I want to rewatch it as an adult because when I rewatched, like, The Shining. The ring, like all those ones. Remember in this past mm -hmm. Halloween, I like got real brave and watched some scary movies. You don't even like scary movies either. Mm -hmm. No, we're both, which I'm so glad. Thank God. I'm so glad. Remember when we watched Bird Box? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't scary, but it was just kind of like eerie, eh? Yeah. We watched it and we we're like, what the hell? No one told us it was scary. Mm. I was looking at my New York memories. Which I was there three years ago today. I don't know why I did this. Three years ago today. And this morning to Cole, I was like, you know how they call it like the concrete castle? Or concrete castle, concrete jungle? I was like, how? This may sound dumb. It's gonna sound dumb, right? <laughs> I was like, that's so many buildings, so many concrete, heavy buildings. How? Does New York not have what's it called? Sinkholes. Like how? Like it must be so heavy on the Earth's surface. That just blew my mind after that. Because I'm like, how do cities not just collapse? You know? It's an interesting thought. It's not that dumb. Because <laughs> like, look at that one that was underwater. Now, what did what happened to that one? What do you mean underwater? The one that's like under Istanbul. Actually, there's several, but like under Istanbul, there's another one. I'm sure there's a big historic reason why that one's like that. By the way, we're passing the rice center. That was like, <laughs> I just make myself so stupid in this vlog. Oh, okay. We were passing the rice center recently. That was literally like a month ago. Okay, let's see. Yeah, but when you first asked the question, it was like 10 years ago. Yeah. And you remember what I said? What did I say? You're like, that's the rice center. I was like, that's where they make all the rice. And you're like, really? Like, oh. oh yeah, and I was like, we should go on a tour there because I love rice. I was like, no, it's not. We just finished at the Jeff Dunham concert. 
and it was so funny. Oh my gosh, my eyelashes like falling off from laughing and crying. Arms. I got like almost every single joke which I was nervous about because sometimes I'm a little bit, take a little bit longer to get a joke. Right, hun? Yeah. We had a great time. Put your suit and seatbelt on, honey. Now we're going to dinner. Cole just took some cute pics in the back alley of me. Cause there's this really pretty painted wall and I've always wanted to take a picture there. <laughs> Painted something else. Huh? Nothing. You painted something else. Anyways, we're going for dinner. I'm not really feeling the place our group picked for dinner, to be honest. It's not really for dinner. It's not. It's like an appy place, which I'm feeling like a full on dinner. Like. Don't worry, I'll get you Wendy's in my head. Ugh. But oh my god, that guy was so funny. He was like complaining about our Antarctica weather, which. It's only minus 11 here right now. He doesn't yes. have an yeah, idea. Celsius versus their Fahrenheit. Yeah, like this compared to our minus 40, like, well, like minus 30, but feels like minus 40. No, is, we had minus 40. Yeah, is actually one time I think it was like 48. What the wind show was like yeah. 40 Yeah, but he has no idea, but he's from Texas. That was kind of cool, I didn't know that. We're just gonna drive home now and we're both cold and tired. So thank you so much for watching. And you wanna say thank you so much for watching? Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> I never say that ever. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to check the check this the notification button until I can't breathe anymore. <laughs> Uh, or like Mr. Ballin always yeah. says. Anyways, see you guys. We'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.